Mustek is South Africa's largest assembler and distributor of personal computers and complementary products. Yeah, this one's been around a long time, founded by a group of Taiwanese South Africans, and we include it because it's got a fairly significant market cap, and it's done nicely in terms of its similar, you know, Rectron, all those businesses, Proline, computers, putting all that stuff together and reselling them. Nice, solid operation, although it tends to talk a good story, and operationally the results over the years have been a bit mixed, to be fair. Market cap, 923 million rand, so it doesn't fit into your billion rand market cap rule. <laughs> PE -E ratio here of 7.5, dividend yield of 3.2. Must has been around for a long time, as has, Paul said. Has been around for a long time. Uh, in my mind, it's like the poor man's pinnacle. Uh, very similar in terms of, I guess, what they do from a distribution perspective. Um, as Paul touches on, I think the underlying operational performance has been scratchy at best. Um, so it's been very tricky to assess this one from a potential growth perspective. Mm. Okay, the other thing that must be said about them is that uh, they are using the Mesa brand. I think I said Proline. I'm not sure who Proline belongs to, but Mesa, we've all seen those kind of PCs around. But they've got some nice agencies. So we know that the market has tended to be tricky. Lots of tablets. Apple is a problem. And of course, they've got their own distribution. That share price graph doesn't look like any poor man's anything. <laughs> just, uh, just have a look at the, at the share price performance there. The director's telling me in my ear that that's not the right share price oh either. Dear. I can't all remember right. off the top of my head whether that is the correct level or not. So all we'll right. have so to we're take that down. We're going to have to edit, we're gonna have that to edit this. Is that it looks all right. I think it looks all right. You're still going to call it the poor man's pinnacle? Yes, I am going to call it that. All right. <laughs> all right. So, so there we go. It is the right share price graph. Graph. I, I'm obviously running out of English. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> to, to put that in perspective, Bronwyn, um, Pinnacle's got a return on equity of above in excess of 20% in terms of what they generate. Must take us close to 10. Um, so from a margins perspective, for the same amount of business, Pinnacle earns a hell of a lot more money. Got it. Hot or not? Uh, on that basis, for me, not hot. Hot or not? Yeah, I'm also going to go with not hot. Uh, a little bit too small also.